Hello friends and welcome back to our channel. It is time for a story. Today's story is called The Polio Pioneer, Dr. Jonah Salk and the Polio Vaccine. This is written by Linda Ilovitz Marshall and illustrated by Lisa Anchin. We hope you enjoy today's story, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hope lies in dreams, in imagination, and in the courage of those who dare to make dreams into reality. Dr. Jonah Salk. People of the Victory Parade in New York City cheered, Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! The war is over. It was 1918. The First World War had ended, but four-year-old Jonah Salk didn't cheer. Jonah saw injured and wounded soldiers. He saw soldiers unable to walk. Jonah Salk was a kid who saw things differently. While friends played games, Jonah's read and read. But when they needed a referee, they asked Jonas for help. He knew the rules and applied them fairly. Jonas' family was Jewish. They fled Russia and Lithuania to escape religious persecution. They came to America seeking safer, better lives. His mother, Dora, had little formal education. After coming to America, she learned to speak English. But when Jonas was a child, she could read and write only in Yiddish. His father, Daniel, was an excellent lace maker, but he was often out of work, and there was never enough money. Yet Dora and Daniel taught their children the importance of education, of kindness, and of doing good works. Jonas prayed that he might someday help make the world a better place. Jonas attended the City College of New York, where tuition was free and where, unlike at many other colleges and universities, Jewish Jews were allowed. There he discovered chemistry. Jonas hoped that by understanding science, he could make medicines that would help people. He decided to go to medical school to become a doctor and researcher. After medical school, Dr. Jonas Salk worked with his teacher and friend, Dr. Thomas Francis. They were seeking a medicine to protect people from influenza, the flu virus, which in 1918 killed millions of people around the world. Substances known as vaccines had already been made to help protect people against other diseases. Dr. Salk and Dr. Francis had an idea. What if a person was given some flu virus that was killed by chemicals so it could not cause disease? Then could that person's body practice fighting the flu? Could that person's body learn to fight the flu virus and win? Dr. Salk and Dr. Francis thought it could. They studied different types of influenza viruses. Then, using inactivated flu viruses, they made a vaccine to give people's body a safe practice run. Dr. Francis and Dr. Salt's flu vaccine worked. Their flu shot helped prevent people from getting the flu. It helped give people immunity to the flu. Since then, flu shots have saved thousands of lives each year. But another disease was also raging, polio. Throughout America, polio paralyzed or killed thousands of people every year, including many babies and small children. No one could be sure they were safe from this disease, not even future U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Fearing that polio could spread through water, communities closed swimming pools and beaches. Parents kept children away from movie theaters, sleepovers, and crowds. Everywhere, people wondered, could polio be prevented? Could it be cured? Dr. Salk believed polio could be prevented. He believed he could develop a polio vaccine. Dr. Salk researched, experimented, and tested ideas. He and his team of scientists labored day and night, night and day. Dr. Salk and his team studied different types of polio viruses. Just as with the flu vaccine, they killed the polio viruses with chemicals so the vi viruses couldn't cause disease. Then they used the inactive polio viruses to make a vaccine. Dr. Salk and his team first tested their vaccine in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where they lived. Dr. Salk gave many of the shots himself. The vaccine appeared safe and seemed to strengthen the body's defenses against polio. But would it actually prevent polio? A larger test with many more participants was needed. Dr. Francis joined in to oversee the larger test. Throughout America, almost 2 million children, polio pioneers, participated. On April 12, 1955, Dr. Francis announced to the world, the vaccine works, polio could be conquered. Church bells rang, factory whistles blew, the country celebrated. 
Within a few years, cases of polio plummeted. Soon, throughout America and much of the world, polio was almost completely gone. But more research and work on other diseases was needed. Dr. Salk wanted to make sure people around the world received vaccinations and stayed healthy. So Dr. Salk kept working, thinking, dreaming. And on a bluff overlooking the Pacific Ocean, Dr. Salk established the Salk Institute of Biological Studies. There, researchers question and discover seeking cures for cancer, HIV AIDS, diabetes, multiple cirrhosis, and many other diseases. Jonah Salk was a kid who saw things differently, a kid who wanted to help make the world a better place. Every, ever met a kid like that? Could that kid be you? The end. We hope you enjoyed this short story. Thank you for watching and listening. We'll see you next time with another story. Goodbye.